Oh, hello viewer. Welcome back to my Let's Play of The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. And I just realized that um, I might want to wear heavy armor because I'm going to be focusing mainly on melee and... Um, yeah, magic's just going to be like a side thing for pulling something, but mainly I'm going to be up front taking the hits and back in the tutorial is some heavy armor I forgot but we'll make do so let's get started finishing off the tutorial treasure So I'm back with my companions. Fire! And, oh. The Emperor's in danger. The Emperor's in danger. Let's protect the Emperor. Fire! The Emperor! Oh. Whoa, the dragon fire! Nice. It's a good thing we got these guys here. Can't take this off. Man, this place is swarming with assassins. Not much fun. Watch your back, boys. The Emperor's in danger. My sword is on a The Emperor's in danger. Oh. By the nine. Assault. No, it wasn't really. Best thing to do in this situation is wait for them all to go through the door because sometimes it glitches and it doesn't let you go through the door yourself. Boris, we're facing this way. All clear. All right. Let's get out of here. I'll have my freedom. The emperor will keep talking about death. Well, I'll be happy. Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side. What? Oh, what about crap. the side passage back there? Worth a try. Let's go. Guard him with your oblivion to For the emperor. the emperor! You know, finishing your sentences is just polite and you make a lot more sense. I can go no further. Oh, hey. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. What are you talking he about? must not have the amulet of kings. Um take the amulet, give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Who's Joffrey? Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. Dude, hold up. You're, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Guys, help, help. Strange. I can't even. You chose a bad oh, Boris. Oh my gosh. Um, the Emperor, he's. Crap. We failed. Uh, I failed. The blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. Huh. The amulet. It's Where's bad. the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. Well, the Emperor gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The hmm. Amulet of Kings is a sacred symbol of the Empire. Most people think of the Red Dragon Crown, but that's just jewelry. The Amulet has power, 
Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Well, he said I needed to take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? Yeah. Well, apparently Nothing there's another heir. Heard about, but Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. Okay, how do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Yeah. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Uh, the sewers? There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced rogue. Am I right? No, not really. Alright, viewer. Here we go to deciding our class. This will... Probably be... I don't know, I might skip a lot of this, my deciding, but... I pretty much know where I want to go. Kind of a warrior-ish. Yeah. I'm gonna do a custom class. I'm gonna go combat since our main focus is gonna be melee. Uh, for combat, we want strength. Um, endurance will affect your health a lot. That's really good to have. <coughs> I'm also gonna be casting spells. Um, I want willpower or intelligence. No willpower for that. Luck is always good to have, but it's kind of iffy. I'm just gonna go with endurance because you can't go wrong with extra health. Seven skills. Well, we want to be able to run and jump, so. We also want blade and black since we're gonna be up front. And I made the decision to stick with heavy armor even though it will affect my magic. Uh, and destruction is the magic school I want to be in. Sneak, security, we don't really need those. Um, that's more for a stealth character. I think I need one more. I do want armor. It's always handy to be able to fix your armor. And that would be seven. As you can see it says choose seven. That's the max, so... I think that's it. Mercantile helps you with bartering. You can get some more money that way. You can get little extra perks. Speechcraft helps you when you're talking to people to persuade them, but it's not completely necessary. Um, yeah, that should be good. Blunt is just for uh, bluntish weapons like you know axes, maces, stuff like that. I chose blade because I like swords. Enter a name. What should we call this class? Awesome. I think I had a name for it, but it's not coming to mind. Are you sure you want to be an awesome? Of course. I wasn't far off. In any case, rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. Well, what after the sewers? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Yeah, I understand. Good. The Emperor's trust was well placed. Uh, what about you? What are you I'll gonna do? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the halls of the blades. Oh, yeah, um, no problem. What is this? Maybe I should... Tavern. Hm. Yeah, I kind of wanted that sword, but... What do I have now? Nothing! Oh, wait. I have the goblin staff. I'll use... Where the arrow come from? Yeah, I'll use a steel sword. And I'm not the heir, I can't wear the amulet. Ah, okay. Onward to the sewers. 
and the chest. Nice potions. Rats? Crap. Oh, look at that one hit. That strength. Oh, goblins, goblins. Two of them. Get back here. That epic music. Lockpick silver. Let's see, is there anything back here? A dead goblin. And lockpick. You know, for all these goblins sitting around with their lockpicks, there's a lot of lock chests in this dungeon. Like, there's one over here. Well, I don't know if it's locked, but. Want out of here. Ah, oh, he's friendly. Maybe I'll leave him alone. Yeah, um, I think I'm happy with this character. Let's begin. Ah, isn't it lovely? Oh, just so you guys know, I did turn the, um, distance, like, you can't see farther in the distance off, just to help with the lag. I hope you guys don't mind it, but that really decreases my FPS with fraps on, so. Mud crap. Welcome to the world of Tamriel. Pretty nice place. Very nice when you have full graphics and you're not using fraps. And looks like there's some runes in front of us. Let's go explore over there, shall we? I know they want me to go give some amulet to Joffrey, but you know I've got a long walk for that. Hey, there's some guys over there. Hey guys, are they friendly? Oh crap. Nope. Man. Ow. What if I wanted to like join their ranks and be a smuggler or whatever they are? Oh, he healed. Maybe I can wait for him to come around the corner. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> Seems to be using the m magic a little more than I'm intending but if they're at a range I'm gonna use magic Let's see what's over here garlic and a book oh it raised my hand to hand skill not too shabby but not needed at all okay well I think I'm gonna call this the video Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video and we will go to the Imperial City.